back in the early 2000s, Coleco Holdings released these little handheld devices called 10-in-1s. They had different themes. They had, this one's called Target. They had one called Racing. Another one called Sports. And each one featured 10 little games in this little handheld device. Now the games are not the highest of quality. The music is very tinny. It's very repetitive. Uh, the games are very basic. They're like cell phone games put into a handheld, basically. These are the kind of, kind of games we'd be playing on an old Nokia cell phone or something like that back then. I used to have a bowling game on my Nokia phone. I used to play a lot. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was a very basic game. I'm kind of hoping there's a bowling game on the sports version of this. I've got all three, but I figure I'll do the Target one first. It's got a nice, nice little green case. We have our D-pad over here. That's fairly responsive. It's not too bad. On off button, reset button to go back to the menu. Then we have our action button, fire. Then we have uh, rapid fire. One of these buttons here will activate rapid fire in some games. Nice little LCD screen. On the top we have our, our uh, headphone jack. Yep, headphones. I don't know why we use headphones on this. Well, I guess you would, because this would drive your parents crazy. This is kind of like the Coleco Pac-Man in the 2000s. <laughs> that very annoying tabletop game. And our video out, which uses a, a special cable that has composite video out. On the back, here's our speaker. There's our volume control right there. Runs on three AAA batteries. Got a little reset button. So you initially turn it on. Shows your screen, all the different games you can select. Now, I'm not going to try to play it on this small screen. I'm actually going to hook it up to my capture device so you can see a better uh, view of the screen as I play the games. So let's do that now. All right, well, here's the main screen. And we have Tank War, Fly Shooting, Underwater Mission, Cop Quest, Space Blast, Arrow Fighter, Sky Ranger, Super Gun, Sniper Revenge, and Destroyer. All right, so let's go try the first game, Tank War. Boop. Now this music gets very repetitive after a while. Now I kind of like the sound effects of the gun shooting. The tank gun shooting. I just wish there was a way to turn off the background music. Almost got him. Almost got him. Oh, oh. Yes! <laughs> Very basic game. Okay, let's try the next game. Fly shooting. This is kind of neat. You know, I like how you can pick up power-ups and stuff, but they don't really shoot back at you. And the levels kind of repeat. Whoa! Just gotta get my... Whoa. A little bit slow down there. There we go! I missed that power up. There's a power up. Right, that one didn't do anything. So here I am again, fighting the same boss. <laughs> this over and over again. Enough of that. Underwater mission. Now this one is kind of like. Sea wolf a little bit. Stay at the bottom down here. You shoot in front of me every once in a while. Oh! Got depth charged. Oh! <laughs> Can't shoot backwards though. Game over, man. 
Next up, Cop Quest. This is basically Puyan from the arcade. So that's kind of cool. Oh, I missed that. Oh, he shot me. Why the little piggies are shooting at me, I do not know. You think to be like little guys in uh, prison outfits or something, or be criminals or things like that. Not little piggies. It's kind of strange. Oh! <laughs> Next up, Space Blast. Kind of like a Space Invaders type game. But this one of the group, I don't think is too bad. At least they're shooting back at you. It has a little bit of a challenge to it. But as you can see, as I go through these games, they're, they're basically like cell phone games you'd be playing on your old Nokia or something like that back in the early 2000s. What they remind me, remind me of. Pass! And I start all over again. So much fun. <laughs> Next up we have Arrow Fighter. Now at first glance you would think, okay, this looks pretty cool. But just like uh, the other shmup that I played, it's very repetitive. You only don't have so many enemies that you fight. Even though it's kind of cool looking. I'm gonna die. Blow up. There we go. I like the cartoonish explosions. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna power up on this one. Oh, it didn't do anything. Okay, let's try another one. Sky Ranger! Basically, this is like that other game I played earlier, that vertical scrolling game. It just has airplanes instead of spaceships. So, it's kind of a cop-out. They just change the graphics of the game to make you think it's something else. So it's basically it's the exact same game. <laughs> Super Gun! This one's kind of cool. You can't move the gun at the bottom, you only shoot from right and left. So the like, object of this game is see how many planes you can destroy before they destroy your big gun. So see how high of a score you can get. Oh, oh. Oh, pretty interesting. Next up, we have Sniper Revenge. Here we're sniping. Looks like little dancing robots on top of buildings. You only have so much time to do this. So the object is to see how high of a score you can get in that certain time limit. Oh, I missed him. There we go. Now, the D-pad controls fairly well. It's not too bad. Oop, oop. Oop. <laughs> Reset. And the... Uh, oh, sorry. Hey, quit. You skipped it. Destroyer! Basically, all you do is drop bombs on targets. Whoop! You got no machine guns or nothing like that to shoot. Just drop bombs. So he should have just made like a little bomber plane, but I guess making it a helicopter, you know, lets you go all different directions. I don't know. This one's kind of, huh. Pretty basic game. They're all very basic games. But entertaining in short bursts. I just don't like that background music. It just drives me insane. <laughs> so anyway... That's the Clico 10 and 1 called Target. As always, thanks for watching.